ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once more to uh, Rule the Waves, the French Succession series. So, it's really heartening to see the responses to the uh, episode that I uploaded. It's uh, generally positive, that's pretty cool. I understand that my playstyle will be radically different to those who have come before me. It's, um, it's going to happen, I know. <laughs> Plenty of you are going to be like, what the hell is this guy doing? But hey, just, just trust in me. This one time, this one time, I promise you, will uh, work something out. I notice that we are on the possibility of war with Germany and Italy. That would not be very nice. So let's take a look at Germany then, shall we? So they have four uh, Dreadnoughts, four battlecruisers, four being built and two being built of the uh, Dreadnought class. Uh, 20 battleships, 15 heavy cruisers, 28 light cruisers, 16 destroyers. Yep, they have a large complement of destroyers, uh, 16 submarines. We need more submarines. I do like that we have minesweepers, that's pretty cool. Right, course of batteries. I would like more course of batteries. I think that wouldn't be a bad thing to have. Uh, certainly not. Right then, let's keep on moving on. Uh, Okay. Oh, well, bloody hell. <sighs> That's an investment, then. We'll have to go with a new uh, designer destroyer, but in about nine months. Right, port in Great Britain. See, I don't want to raise our tensions with Great Britain. That's quite happy. Ideally, we could try to have an alliance. If I could get an alliance with Britain, that would be absolutely superb. Right. I can afford it with Austria-Hungary. Nice. Okay. So we need to take a look at these um, ships over here, then. View data. So we have the 15-inch guns. Now, these are really, really large guns. At the ocean class over here with the 12 inches. We could do with redesigning them. Pretty much uh, modernizing them, so let's bring them up. So open design for rebuild. So we have the ocean class. I can, um, yep, upgrade the guns. There we go. Uh, actually, let's uh, see them as they were before. We can compare the design uh, data then. Uh, so we have 20,000 yards. Okay, 11.1 um, at 5,000 yards. Five inches at 20. <clears throat> yep, there we go, 2,000 more. Yep, okay. A little bit more penetration overall, so just a nice upgrade. Especially nice for an older type of ship like this. Uh, we can upgrade the uh, director to direct, I should say. Right. Okay. So upgrade the machinery inside. That buys us quite a bit of weight over here. Now we can't uh, put anything really too radical on here. But I think what we might be able to do is basically uh, try to turn this into something of a heavy cruiser in the future. That would be fairly decent. So, we do have the secondary guns here with 12. Um, yep, 12 6 inch guns. That's not too bad at all. Engine priority we could change. I could change it to potentially speed. Could knock that up to 21 knots. I can't change um, the range or anything like that. But at least at 21 knots it's not going to be as irrelevant as at uh, 19 knots. At least it has that little bit more. Though perhaps if I go for 20 knots, we could go with uh, potentially normal. There we go. Bring that up to 20 knots. Uh, we do have the torpedo mounts over here. I think I'm going to clear these mounts, actually. Is that fine? Right, ship has narrow belt. I can't do anything about that. At least we've gained ourselves a few extra tons here. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. See, I should armor the secondaries. 
But then again, the secondaries are casemates. Okay, bulged. Obviously can't have mines. <clears throat> I don't need that much more weight to really get this up there. Okay. Now, see, I could drop a lot of the cost over here. It would make this a rather cheap ship. I mean, it would only have one fire control position, so it would be uh, fairly fallible. But then again, uh, then again, uh, that might be worthwhile. So what I could do over here then is like potentially drop some weight. If we go to eight inches, ship is slightly overweight. I'm aware about one. Move these just for the time being. Uh, uh, if we go to speed, we can actually get that. So we could bring the ship up to about 22 knots, potentially. I could probably get another fire control position on there, just in case. But then again, rather than potentially having that fire control position, what I might do is have uh, more ammunition here. And there we go. Right, so by removing the torpedoes... Um, Upgrading the guns. We've actually upgraded the speed quite nicely. We've gained another three knots from 19 to 22. So at least that's an increase that will be felt quite a lot. It's not very well armoured, but the thing is this is um, a glorified heavy cruiser basically. Or a glorified... Um, a, well, it's, it's pretty old, isn't it, really? I don't think there's really much point adding too much else in terms of guns, but I think this will do quite nicely. We'll have our destroyers to fill the role of the uh, torpedo boat. So I don't think the, that torpedoes would have been really much use. So we'll save this design then. Yeah, there we go. Not bad, really. Let's have the oceans. Where are the oceans? Right, they're on reserve fleet anyway, so that's not too bad. So I can put the oceans on for rebuild. Yes, there we go. So what we'll do is we'll pause the construction uh, efforts over here, just for the time being. Hold their construction, uh, their rebuilds. Carry on. Okay, tensions have uh, lowered somewhat. Uh, we are going to go for more submarines really soon, considering these were built in 1902 and 3. We definitely bloody need submarines. Uh, what do we have? Only coastal submarines. Okay. Come on, guys. High priority. Right, tensions are incredibly low with Japan and America. Hopefully we could try to pull off some kind of alliance over there. Right, South American. That's only going to really piss off uh, the Americans, so I could go for that. Right, I can afford this. I need money. I need money. So the US has scrapped some um, ancient ships from 1902. Okay. Secondary turrets. Uh, yeah, I'll go for that. Hmm. Not bad at all. Some concessions to Germany. Yes, we can do that. Low tensions with Germany. Okay. These destroyers will be built soon. Ah. Well, that's quite handy. Oh dear. So you can see how much our budget's increased there, but tensions have lowered significantly. That's handy. That is really handy. Easily surpassing her design speed. Fantastic. Right, the ten uh, Kentucky class. Oh, sorry, the Florida class. The Kentucky. Uh, 12, 13 inch guns. That's quite uh, decent armament there. Not. Yeah, quite low deck armor, however. 
Fair enough, fair enough. Right, we're on a positive budget here. Okay. Medium range submarines. I feel we should put these into uh, construction. ASAP, really. They are war winning weapons. Handled it quietly and discreetly. Okay. Right. A new US minesweeper. I'm sure that we have to be afraid of that one. Hmm. Quality steel for shells. <sighs> we have low tensions with Japan, so I'm going to do that. I do need that money for the time being. Hmm. Austria Hungary. What is the strength of Austria Hungary? I'm fairly certain we could defeat Austria Hungary. And it is, um. Hmm. It would be fairly close, but I think we can take them. Yeah. There we go. Okay, under construction. So, uh. Let's get these guys going if we can afford it. That is a rather large increase in the expenses there. Right, we can keep you going for the time being. I'll stop you. That uh, is not really too good, is it? Mm, I can afford that for the time being. Right, 14-inch guns. Ah. Yes, thank you. Right, now that does change things, really. So we only have uh, quality zero 14-inch guns, but the fact is we have uh, okay 14-inch guns. Now look at the big difference there. That's a big, big kicker. We'll take a look at designing a dreadnought soon then. Mm. Oh, hello. Righty. <laughs> oh man. That's an incredible amount of firepower. We'll take a look at that concept soon, though. I would like larger dogs, actually. Hmm. War is coming soon. I can make him a national hero. Okay, so... Mediterranean. It seems that we really do need to um, upgrade the smaller ships of the navy. Let's deploy the heavy cruisers. Ah, oh, right, these ones are abroad, actually. Uh, we'll deploy more modern ones, I think. Oh, these are really old. Very, very old. Right, these aren't too bad. To the Mediterranean. Hmm. I'll hush it up. There we go. So let's take a look at the uh, strength comparison between us. There we go. So yeah, the Austrians are very, very strong in the Mediterranean. 
which I'm not surprised about considering that's where their uh, entire fleet is. Right, I shall do that. Ooh, simpro uh, superimposed choice on a heavy cruiser. Hell yes. A five-year alliance with Germany. Hell yeah. So we're allied with the German Empire. Oh man, this is beautiful. Just as war looks quite likely with uh, Austria-Hungary. So what do we have in the area then? So Austria-Hungary has two dreadnoughts, six uh, battle cruisers. That's quite a lot of battle cruiser. Eight battleships, twelve uh, heavy cruiser. Um, yes, yeah, so we need to really dramatically shift the weight of numbers. Okay. These submarines aren't far off, which will make a big difference. Okie dokie. Hmm. Things like this need to be sent. Moving a large amount of ships here. Right, I'll do that. Ooh, 16 inch guns. Low quality, however. Okay. We'll just pause this for the time being. Ooh, thank god. Resume construction. Um, okay, just hold this for a time being then. And again. Okay, there we go. Yep. Increase the budget. War is about to be declared. Really? Wow. That is just borderline. That's going to happen. That's definitely going to happen. Right, so what we're going to do here then is we're going to put everything into uh, mobilization. Well, there we go. Things are now working up again. So you are in work up. So let's take a look at this design then. Yep, this is a very powerful ship. I'm quite happy with this thing here. This should prove to be quite valuable. At least I hope so. Hmm. So let's take a look at destroyers then, shall we? Okay. Thirty-two knots. Don't need it that fast. Right, center line. Yep, that's not bad. So what do we have here? We have a forward, aft, and forward center line. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove these. Now, forward, forward center line. Let's see, starboard wing and port forward wing, aft. Can I actually have doubles? I don't think I can have doubles, so I'll go with the uh, safe option. Okay, up that to five inches. Can I up that to six? Right, I can't actually up that to six, but that's pretty nice. Uh, cross deck fire, can't have that. Okay, so what we might do then is we'll add some guns to the rear, I think. Uh, generally, I think the idea of this ship is really to... Uh, dissuade the enemy, but if I could get another two torpedo launches on here, I might be somewhat happy. Okay. That seems a little bit too crowded. Not bad. Right, if I remove um, that one. Too many guns. Okay, so we can remove the midship.
Okay. Can I actually have a double on the destroyer? No. Oh, what a shame. It looks amazing. Shame. Ah. We can have a superimposed rear. That's interesting. Can I actually do that? We can indeed. So, we have a destroyer that's fairly, uh, fairly decent, actually, with 5-inch guns. That's not bad at all, really. That's not bad. Hmm. Could have that armed with mines. Right, okay, never mind. Torpedo defense, obviously, a little bit too harsh. Colonial service would be fairly decent in the future. Right. I'll remove those. Okay, too crowded. See, I like this sort of design because we have quite a decent amount of firepower. And our broadside's fairly substantial. I might be able to fit another torpedo in the center, perhaps. No, actually, could I fit a turret in the center? Too many guns, but I think we can afford that. The thing is, it doesn't need to have huge rate of fire, but the thing is, this is, uh, well, it's armed like a light cruiser. It's actually fairly uh, gun heavy. Go for a little bit more. Go for quite a lot of um, ammunition, I think. Or potentially more speed. That's really costly to get that extra knot of speed. Okay, there we go. So, we have a nice little 1,100-ton uh, destroyer there that's armed with 5-inch guns. I think that's going to be fairly effective. I'd really uh, dissuade in the enemy. They're not exactly hugely impressive, but that could do uh, wonders against destroyers or light cruisers. Things of that nature, and it should be fairly decent at raiding the enemy's convoys. But I'm happy with that. So we have the Ballist class over here. The Ballist. A Ballist. Uh, I'd like to have a few of those on the go. I think we'll start with 12, but obviously I'd not be able to afford all the... Actually, uh, not far off, really. I might be able to get away with that. There we go, the SS Franklin. Hulld. Jewel. Newton. I can't say these names, but that's a lot of new submarines as we need them. And these are medium submarines as well. Right, that would increase tensions. However, if I go with something um, like that, which increases my budget, yep, substantially increases my budget. You can see we've gained a bunch of um, submarines over there. So, now France has 29 submarines compared to, yeah, 25 submarines of the Austrian Navy. We need more submarines, really. Or potentially more minesweepers, that would be quite helpful. But anyway, if we go with the new class of destroyer, I think will be quite handy. How are we doing? Right, okay. So it's fairly close. Fairly close. What do I have over here in Northern Europe? Hmm. You're still on work up, party commissar. Okay, let's take a look at these. Actually, then again, resume construction. Get these babies underway. A new hawkish government. I don't want to raise tensions right now. If I can get a few extra ships into the field, I will be happy. Yep. The new uh, model cruiser has uh, opened up. Lexan's idea. Hmm. Ah, well, there we go. 
raid an enemy coast ship in large battle size. Let's see how this goes then. But at least we do enter into this war with our ally. Right, we do have our own uh, submarines in the area. We have Giffard and Florial. So if I hang around this sort of area, we may have that support. Uh, sink any two ships right now. So the Austrians don't really have anything else. That's fairly decent. We have a large advantage in the terms of uh, ports. Okay. If we hang around now, that might be a little bit too dangerous. Hmm. We'll scout the area. What do we have here available to us then? So, we have light cruisers then. The Lavoisia. How do you say that class? Um, eight six inch guns. I do need to design me some cruisers. Okay. What do we have sighted here? Squadron maximum speed. Yep, so uh, if you're deafened, don't worry because I am too. I really forgot to do that. It's still a little loud, isn't it? Nowhere near as loud as before, though. Much better. Right, so it's loud. Yes. Okay, we are focusing fire on... Uh... Okay, so 27 knots, 500 tons, so they have two 3-inch guns. So the new class of destroyer would rip this thing to pieces. It would outrange it completely. It would have speed on it. It would be able to just destroy it. Okay, and identified ships. Uh, let's go down to medium speed here. We'll drop to um, about 16 knots for the time being. I want my other ship to rejoin the formation. Okay. Light cruiser down there. We need to move. Battle cruiser. Not good at all. The uh, carton class. Canton. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, I like the design of the ship. So we have 8 12 inches, 14 6 inches, uh, 16 3 inches. It has a speed of 24 knots, so it does have speed on us. So what we will do then is we will head over here. Uh, the weather is cloudy, so we'll have to hope. Okay, it's heading north. We may be able to take on this in games. We'll head towards Gifford. We know there's a Austrian battle cruiser in the area, so yep, we do need to be quite careful. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to head over to um, the coastline over here. Then what we'll do is we'll move around these islands. We can use them as cover, and we could also use them to set up torpedo strikes on the enemy's battle cruiser should it uh, deem itself worthy to challenge us. Right, our objective is still here, so we do still need to try and find one more victim. I think we have a good chance in this sort of area. There's going to be a lot of traffic along here. There's two ports here. We have Kataro. Kataro. I think we might be able to f uh, pick something up. We'll find out soon, won't we? And once again, I do apologize for being uh, the guy to deafen you today. I will have to put a little bit of a warning underneath um, in the comment section to let people be aware of that one. I do fully ap apologize about that. I honestly did not uh, think to check my settings. Okay, so the sea state is quite rough right now. Hmm. We'll have to see if Florial or Gifford could pick up something. But we are aware of a battle cruiser in the area. So what sort of sight do we have here? Fairly limited. Fairly limited. Okay, let's go down to about... Um, 18 knots. Okay. Until next time, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, goodbye.